A sour and spicy seafood soup, Cool is a hallmark of Jaffna cuisine that has made its way onto the must-have list of visitors to the northern part of Sri Lanka. It is a delicacy even among the Tamils in Jaffna, the preparation process being very lengthy, and so it is reserved for festive occasions. In Tamil, the word cool simply means a gruel or porridge. But when the people of Jaffna mention cool, they are referring to a very specific dish. Jaffna cool comprises a combination of different types of seafood, from prawns and crab to cuttlefish and crayfish, and even other types of small fish. These are boiled together with a tamarind and chili broth. Other ingredients include vegetables like long beans and young jackfruit and greens. The soup is thickened using odiel, which is a flour made of the palmyra tuber. Although cool is now regarded as a special treat, it originated as a peasant meal. The farmers of the Jaffna province were not so well-to-do and had to depend on food that they could forage in the fields. They would catch the small fish and other seafood that would be swimming around in the waters of the paddy fields or nearby rivulets or rivers. Traditionally, this meal was prepared by the women of the village who would accompany their husbands to work each morning. The women would then set out searching for whatever ingredients they could find that day. They worked together, making one large cauldron of the soup for everyone to share. Cool was the perfect midday meal for those engaged in manual labor, as the combination of ingredients made it both high in energy and extremely nutritious. Today, the Tamils of Jaffna are passionate about this traditional dish and have made a ritual of preparing it. Carrying on the communal heritage, the soup is made in a big cauldron with the help of all members of the family and even the guests. The cooking is the focal point of the party with a lot of banter and laughter. Whether it is cooked for a special event or ordered a la carte at a restaurant, cool remains an exceedingly delicious dish. Much like the overlap in the history of our food, Sri Lankans also experience a shared pain. There's something for everyone at the Sri Lankan table. No palate is left unsated. Yet women still carry the trauma and permanent effects of ethnic and political conflict. Unsaid in the plates of food shared between neighbors at various festivals is our story, including the scars carried as women and as ethnic and religious communities. Healing requires listening to the stories of women and what they want as reparations, as eagerly as we enjoy Sri Lankan cuisine. Our food is closely connected with our stories. Appreciating a community's cuisine includes appreciating and acknowledging their need for reparations and their right to be compensated for the pain and loss they endured.